Today we're going to talk about foot detox baths or foot detoxing. And over the course of the time that I was sick with cancer, I went to all kinds of different alternative medicine and holistic clinics where they did these foot detox baths. And I personally have done somewhere between five and six hundred of these at these professional clinics. I've got a lot of thoughts on them and there's been a lot of thoughts online of what, what people think about what they do and, and a lot of people have questions. And so what I decided to do is I bought a brand new machine, brand new from Amazon, went online and I'm gonna walk you through it here. I'm gonna do a foot detox bath and you're gonna to get to see exactly how it's done and I'm gonna tell you what they told me about it as it, we go through it so you'll be able to actually see it. So let's get started, I'll set it all up and you can watch and, uh, and let's have some fun with it. So this is the unit that I bought from Amazon and there's, there's several different kinds you can buy a really cheap one for under a hundred dollars and you can buy some really expensive ones for oh anywhere you know close to two or three hundred dollars i've seen them for this one was somewhere in the 130 140 dollar range and the depending on where i went when i was getting you know my foot baths done my foot detox some of them used a uh, machine just like this where it's got and you're gonna see it when it's set up because I'm gonna set the whole thing up uh, you're gonna see some of them have a control unit that just fits right on the edge here and others had a come you know a separate box like an, an actual transformer that was about this big and those were obviously a, a little bit more money but they both did the same thing and that's why I thought, you know, I didn't for this, I didn't want to get the cheapest one. I didn't want to get the most expensive one. So I got one right in the middle of the road. And this looked like one that I had several of these done, especially the second time I had cancer when I was in Mexico. This unit comes with, you can see, it comes actually with two coil units that go in the center. And I'm, I'm going to show you, I'm, I'm going to show you how this works and how this all sets up. So let me get it all out and we're going to set it right here in the, uh, in the kitchen and I'm going to bring a chair up to it. So um, uh, it's just a regular plastic bath that's a little bit heavier than say a, like a dish pan, something, something like that. So it's got a control unit. Yeah, there it is. It's got a control unit where it hooks right on the edge like this literally just kind of snaps right in and then this is the I don't know what they actually call it but this is the actual metal probe that um, that it plugs in um, into the back of the unit here and that's what creates the reaction that draws the you know that detoxifies and draws the toxins out of your feet and then this here You'll see, let me untie it all. This is the power cord that goes into that unit. And it's got a built-in timer. Typically when I had these done, you know, no matter where I went, they were all done uh, in 30 minutes. And you know, some of them had a built-in timer like this one. Uh, other ones they would take like a, you know, like a regular kitchen timer and they would just leave it wherever you were sitting. And when the timer went off, they pulled your feet out and rinsed you out. But you'll, um, I'll, sh I'll show you all that. You'll see how that all works when we get to it. So it's really simple to set up. You know, there's two different size plugs, one for the anode that goes in the middle and one for the power. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it down here on the floor of, you know, of my kitchen and we're gonna fill it with distilled water and we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how we add the salt to it and, you know, and we'll go from there. Okay, so now we have the foot bath set up and what we're gonna do is we are going to add the salt to the water and we're going to add about a quarter of a teaspoon, maybe a touch less than that. And depending on where I went when I got these treatments done, uh, sometimes they would use that much and sometimes they would use significantly less, but it was anywhere between a little tiny bit, a couple of pinches to as much as a quarter teaspoon. So we're going to do maybe an eighth of a teaspoon 
and uh, and then we're going to see how, uh, how how that works out. So here we get it all plugged in, and I'll set my feet in it, and we'll turn the unit on, and we're good for 30 minutes. Okay, so now we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna run this foot detox machine completely just the way we set it up before, but we're not gonna put any feet in it. And we're gonna run it for 30 minutes and we're gonna see what happens. So as you saw when I did the setup, the unit actually came with two of the um, anoids, electrical anoids, I'll call them, uh, metal anoids. And I'm gonna set this brand new one in here into this brand new detox machine. So this is an old wore out one. And we're gonna plug it in and see like that. And I gotta pull it out and hook it in like that. And then plug it in, turn it on. And then we're gonna add the salt, the detox salt. And if I didn't mention this before, when the detox salt, when you buy a foot bath like this, you gotta buy the salt separately. And this bag is gonna last forever. But it was, I think, $16.99 on Amazon, and uh, it was linked with the, with the machine. So uh, I turned it on, and I'm just gonna add like one tiny little scoop. We'll just do one tiny little scoop. And let's, let's run it for 30 minutes, no feed in it, Everything brand new. Let's see what it does. Okay, well there you saw the, the second foot bath with me not having any feet in there and running the unit with a minimal amount of salt in there for 30 minutes. And if you noticed, you saw that the water pretty much looked the same. And it still had the same basic different color, kind of foam, kind of the ickiness of, you know, whatever, gallbladder, liver, um, you know, whatever else, bladder, you know, whatever the heck else, organs that are being detoxed, you know, you saw the different colors. Uh, one thing I wanted to bring up is whenever we did a foot bath like this of the five or 600 that I did, afterwards they would always give you a glass of water of about 16 to maybe 24 ounces of water. And they tell you to sip it over the next half an hour to an hour, just sip it. And when you do a foot bath, they say that it sucks out a lot of the minerals and you needed to replenish with uh, some liquid trace minerals like this, which I still take to this day, but after a foot bath especially, you're supposed to do that. And also an electrolyte like this. And I use this li liquid electrolyte just because it's got a pump on it and it makes it real easy to, you know, makes it really easy to add. But they would typically give you a glass of water like this with you know, a pump or two of that in there, and then maybe an ounce or so of the trace minerals to a glass of water, and you just sip it. It really, it's got a little bit of a taste to it, but not much flavor to it at all. And they said that was really, really important because it's drawing so much out of your feet. Now, um, I'm gonna draw a conclusion to this 
but I'm not at the same time because I want you to make your own you know, conclusions. You saw us use a brand new unit right out of the box, two different you know, anoid you know, electrodes you know, right out of the box, one with my feet in it and then another brand new one right in it. So nothing contaminated, um, you know, nothing at all. The, um, uh, the other thing that I, I wanted you to notice was on uh, the first one, we used maybe about an eighth of a teaspoonful. And then when we did the one without my feet in it, we used significantly less. Now, depending on what clinic that I went to, that's how they did it. Sometimes you got an eighth of a, of a teaspoonful or maybe even a touch more. And other times you just got that little, little bit that was like what I added, which was maybe a pinch or so. So, you know, what the theory is on how much you use, I, I'm not really sure. I, it took me a long time before I actually put two and two together that the, the discoloring that, that ends up in the water really isn't coming out of your feet at all. It's coming out of the electrode. Um, in my theory, from what I see, when you've got a piece of metal in a bath of salt water with an electric charge to it, it's gonna rust. Even without an electric charge to it, it's gonna rust. So do I believe that the discoloring and the different color foams and whatever are actually toxins coming out of my feet? When you watch the time-lapse video, it sure doesn't look like it because it's not coming out of your feet. And the orange, different orange colors looks a lot like rust to me. You decide, you make your own determinations. Um, so the question is, is after me having you know three battles of stage three cancer and traveling the world looking for treatments to survive and doing you know five or 600 of these detox foot baths myself uh, at several different places, the question is, do I still do them today? And the answer is no, I don't. Um, and I, Anything that I thought would help keep me healthy and would keep the cancer from coming back, uh, if I thought you know, it would help or work, I'd continue to do it or I'd continue to take it. I'm not doing the detox foot baths anymore at all and I'm 11 years out and I'm healthier than I ever been in my whole life, knock on wood. So I, I hope that helped. I hope that gave you at least a, a real unbiased look and explanation and, and, and walk through that, uh, that'll hopefully help you make a decision of, you know, do you, do you want to do foot baths or not? So anyway, uh, click the link below, subscribe. There'll be more videos just like this one of, uh, uh, uh different types of treatments and things that I've, you know, that I did during the course of my cancer uh, battle and stuff that I do today, along with recipes and all kinds of other neat stuff. You can also go to rawganics.com, check that out as well. Go to the Rawganics Facebook page and uh, check out the Rawganics Super Green Juice and all the other products that we have. So take care. Hope you enjoyed it.